On Monday I launched Reform UK Scotland in the virtual space we all now find ourselves confined to. Now politics is a difficult job at the best of times, marred as it is by the constant gutter attacks you get on social media by the mostly anonymous keyboard warriors. We are a welcoming outward looking country, cries Nicola Sturgeon as her mass fans march up the street behind a banner that says Tory scum out on it. I guess now they'll have to add Reform UK Scotland scum out too. The first minister had been elevated to virtual sainthood during the COVID pandemic. As she stands before parliament announcing her plan to eradicate the virus has failed and she must lock us down yet again to save the NHS. The opposition parties shift uncomfortably before announcing that they are with her. I have never thought of myself as particularly confrontational. If you attack me, yes, I will fight back but I have always preferred to play the ball and not the man. I like the facts and I want to understand the outcome that something will deliver. So I have questioned the sense and logic of repeating the same approach when the desired outcome has not been achieved. Doing this has apparently made me an evil fascist. I double checked the definition of fascism. The dictionary says it is a form of far right authoritarian ultranationalism. Strange, I think of myself as a center right libertarian unionist. It goes on to say that it is characterized by dictatorial power, militarism, forcible suppression of opposition and strong regimentation of society and the economy. Looks to me like a case of mistaken identity. I am fed up with the state of Scottish politics. It feels like we are sleepwalking into a world where you will celebrate the birth of a child by telling everyone you have on it. Because we are not allowed to identify by sex but must wait for your child to self-identify its gender. Our children will ask what is written on the side of the ambulance, and we shall just have to guess because it is written in a language only around 1.1% of Scots speak. Obviously they all speak English. At school they will learn Scottish history where the narrative says the Scots have been oppressed by the English for centuries. Justified by invented stories respected historians have shown to be false. And you will tell children to stay away from the windows in case your neighbor fills in an online police complaint form that visitors have come to see you. Reform UK Scotland rejects this direction of travel. We want a Scotland that respects the right of free speech and thought. A country that recognizes a woman by her sex. A country that is genuinely welcoming to everyone from anywhere in the world who wants to come and participate in our society and contribute to the well-being of our nation. And yes, even England. We are British and the majority voted to remain so. We are unapologetically unionist. We do not accept the SNP's argument that the Scottish Parliament elections are a dress rehearsal for a referendum. We elect MSPs to deliver the devolved powers of Scotland to the best of their ability. If the SNP wants to challenge the existence of the United Kingdom the place to do that is in the United Kingdom Parliament. As the new leader of Reform UK Scotland I make this promise we will not be afraid to say what we believe. We won't be cowed by the vicious attacks and personal insults. We will be the voice for those who do not believe the notion the SNP are stronger for Scotland, but that British solidarity makes us all stronger.